You know, when I think about audiophiles, it means a lot to different people. But for me, it's all about the passion to reproduce music at the highest level and ultimately to enjoy it. And one thing that I really do appreciate are brands that take the time to put in the right engineering and components. And for me, it also means something where it's made. Well, if you agree, then you would also agree that Moscone is one of those, those brands that adhere to all those criteria. Today, we've got Grant McFadder coming in, and we're talking about some award-winning high-end audio gear from Moscone. This is CMA Connected, brought to you by SiriusXM, all about Moscone, and it starts now. What's going on, guys, and welcome to another CMA Connected brought to you by Sirius XM. I'm your host, Ben Wu, and we're talking audiophile grade componentry. So, of course, and naturally, Moscone is part of the conversation. Why, you may ask? Well, I think on today's show, we're going to discover all these different reasons why Moscone is audiophile grade. I know I, for one, find the aesthetics especially appealing. And the sound, well, we're going to let Grant, who's going to be our product expert today, tell you about all the features, technology, and engineering behind Moscone product that truly make it audiophile grade. Now, Grant, can you give us an overview of what we're covering today? Because there's a lot to cover here. Ben, we're going to be covering off DSP, which is obviously a big part of Moscone's lineup. We're going to be covering off amplifiers and the wide array of different products they have available. DSP and amplifiers, yes, please. But before that, a quick opportunity for our partner, SiriusXM, to remind you why, as a dealer, you should love it. And when we come back, let's dive into Moscone with Grant from Trends. We'll be right back. Hey, guys. Ricky Lima here from SiriusXM. I had a chance to speak to some dealers and ask them what they love about selling SiriusXM. Here's what they had to say. Coast to coast coverage. I love SiriusXM for commercial free music. It's a great ad on sale and a profit opportunity. We love selling Sirius XM because you can listen to the same channel coast to coast. Profitability and ease of installation. It's a no brainer. We love selling Sirius XM for its ease of installation, great profitability and reliability. People love it. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. We're talking Moscone in the audiophile category. And I think a great place to start the conversation, Grant, is in something that, well, quite honestly, Moscone has become incredibly uh, popular for, uh, both in the you know uh, recreational sense, but also in the competitive sense. And that is, of course, DSP. Now, I know years ago that purists might not have even included DSP when we're talking about audiophile. But guess what? In today's day and age, it is almost a must-have uh, component to an audiophile grade system. And Moscone does it really well, but not only that, probably and arguably one of the largest selections of high-end DSPs um, as an offering in the industry. So I'll pass it over to you, Grant, but there's a lot to cover here when it comes to Moscone DSP. Yeah, we could do an episode just on DSP alone, but um, yeah, they've got a lot of products, with whether it's their standalone DSP product, whether it's their combination amplifier and DSP products with in the Pico series, the One series, or in our Pro series amplifiers. There's lots to cover off. Uh, I mean, Moscone is synonymous with incredible sounding products, super reliable products, best in class warranty. Uh, the stuff doesn't break. And we've been dealing with them for just over three years, and it's a handful of products we've had. And most of the stuff we've gotten back is usually a defective user. It's not a product defect. Well, one of the hot items right now that everybody's talking about with the recent introductions, quite a new product, in fact, is coming from the aerospace line. Now, we're talking about a standalone DSP, but this one's making a lot of waves. Yeah, this thing is, it's been, a, it seems like a long time coming, but they finally got the cosmetics down to where it matches all the Pro Series amplifiers. But this thing has really taken off in the last, I would say, 60 days, 90 days uh, since it's been released. So, the uh, 8 to 12, air, the Aero 8 to 12 DSP, eight channels of input, either analog or RCA, um, high level, low level, 12 channels of output. So any configuration you could possibly want. I've even got guys that do multiples of these. Don't call me when you're tuning it, when you're doing 12, two of these things with 24 channels of DSP. Um, but they, we have guys doing it. So incredible sounding product, um, bulletproof reliability on 
you know, the software itself. Um, one of the nice things about the software and all of our DSP products is it's one platform for everything. We don't have multiple different series of DSP software for different series of amplifiers or processors. It's one software does every single piece in the lineup. So, you know, as far as the DSP goes, um, really you have to get in front of your computer and the software and sit down and learn it. We can sit on here and pull up the DSP and go through it page by page on the, on the GUI, on the graphic user interface. You will not learn it. You will have to sit down in front of a computer. I know that sounds like work, but you'll have to sit down in front of your computer with the car hooked up and learn it that way. There's no other way to do it. I mean, it's it's great product. A lot of people will look at the GUI and say it's you know too confusing. Yeah, because you don't know what you're looking at. The first time I looked at an Excel spreadsheet, I was I was like, what am I doing here, right? So uh, as far as the DSP goes, get your hands on one of these pieces, whether it's a combo amplifier, whether it's a standalone DSP, and we can get myself on the phone or Orca's got great tech support guys um, in the U.S. to help you walk you through it. Yeah, so no doubt as far as a flagship audio file grade DSP standalone processor, that new Aero unit is the one to go with. I'm certainly getting a lot of buzz from that. But let's not discount the uh, variety of DSP options you have when it comes to Moscone. And that's important for system building and also important to offer different levels uh, depending on the need of your customer. So real quick, Grant, just walk us through the other DSP offering under the Moscone brand. So obviously we've got the brand new Aero 8 to 12 DSP. Uh, the predecessor to that or the baby brother to that or baby sister uh, or baby they, depending on who you are. Um, they have the eight, 6 to 8 Aerospace. There's also a 6 to 8 Pro. And then we have an Atomo 4 to 6 processor, which is four channels of input, six channels of output, which is, you know, minute. I've got no room to put a DSP in my car, Ben, but I can put it in the palm of my hand. Um, so that get, takes out the excuse of, you know, I can't do it in exotic vehicles, so on and so forth. You've got a processor for everything. Uh, in the Pico series, we have three different amplifier DSP combos. We have the Pico 8 to 10 DSP, we have the Pico 6 to 8 DSP, and we have the Pico 4 to 6 DSP. So an additional three models just in the Pico series. Uh, relatively new to the market are the new 1 series amplifiers. The one in front of me right here is the, is the 1 810 DSP. This actually just won the ISO award for best in-car amplifier with integration D DSP. So this is eight channels of power, 90 watts by eight. If you bridge it into four channels, it's 220 watts by four. So lots of different configurations you want to do. Tweeter, mid-range, uh, mid-base drivers in the doors. Maybe you want to bridge four channels for your mid-base drivers in the doors. And then you've got two extra channels of output for adding your subwoofer amplifier or whatever you want to add in there. So Eight channel amplifier with 10 channels of DSP. We have a step down from this one, which is a six to eight DSP. And we also have a four to eight DSP in this lineup as well. All the same footprint, all the same chassis size. So if you're building an app rack, you don't have to worry about different sizes. You can even start with one. I've got this one in stock. I can build the amp rack for the three different amplifiers I'm putting in. And then last but not least, when it comes to the DSP products, is the Pro 830, which is arguably the sexiest amplifier, you know, ever made, known to man. I know Ben, you're a big fan of the red fans. <clears throat> um, this is a eight-channel amplifier, eight. So it's a staggered power amplifier, 95 watts by four, or 170 watts by four on the other four channels. Uh, you can bridge it. You can configure it any way you want. So eight channels of amplification, 12 channels of DSP, and this is an amazing sounding amplifier. We actually had this amp in Karam's car at the CMA Expo this year. And that was running most of the brand new Focal K2M speakers. And if you heard that vehicle, I think you were overly impressed with the sound quality. And when we had the little one series, the little Pro 110 amplifiers on the subwoofer, certainly gives you plenty of bang for the buck. So whether you're budget restraint or whether it's configuration restraints, we have a product to fit any need in the market. Yeah, I don't think it's a secret at this point, Grant, that I am a huge fan of the design of the Moscone amplifiers. That is for sure. I think we'll get a chance to take a look at some top level builds and why I'm not the only one that thinks so, because they are absolutely gorgeous. And yes, those red fans are iconic. And I must point out that even that new one series amplifier also incorporates that signature iconic red fan. Now, the other thing I want to touch on here, Grant, while we're talking about DSP and what 
uh, is very unique to Moscone is the recent introduction of the Barney measurement system. The reason I bring this up is that this really ties the whole thing together. If you're thinking about going the route of DSP, um, a high-end audio system, and you want to achieve that optimum oral performance, well, Moscone also has that tool in Barney. So, Grant, why don't you just talk to us real quick about the success that Barney is having um, in the tuning community? Ben, DSP has been talked about for probably 12 years. And, you know, dealers have come a long way in understanding DSP. There's a plethora of them out there from many different brands. Uh, the confusion all stems from the software side of it. So the engineers at Gladen Moscone have come up with a um, device called Barney. Uh, which is a binaural microphone system that basically takes most of the guesswork out of there for out of there for you and helps you tune the vehicle. So it comes in a nice case for the install bay. It comes with a tripod that you would put in the seat of the car. You would measure your customer's head, line up the head to where the ear ears are to match up with your customer's ears, and then we get into the tuning process. So I mean, we went through a training at Orca in California at the end of May this year. You know, Karen Banna, the one of the owners of Trends, and myself, and along with, I think it was 20 of their U.S. reps. None of us had touched Barney. Very few of us has actually tuned to DSP from Moscone, other than some demo boards and stuff like that. So they got four different vehicles. They had Nalika's Bronco. They had uh, Nalika's 911. They had a BMW uh, M3, I think it was. And we had a Lexus uh, LX350. So we had all these salespeople, not installers. Installers, I think, are smarter than us people um, in there. And basically, they ran us through the process. And most of us were tuning these cars from scratch um, in under 30 minutes. So if we can teach that to the masses, and it, it's a little bit of a process the first time you go through it, maybe take an hour, hour and a half the first time you do it. Uh, to understand the software, understand where you're getting all your settings from. But once you know the basics of it, you can do a Barney setup in approximately 30 minutes. So if I can do it and Karen Banna can do it and the 30 sales reps that were at Orca can do it, I guarantee you some of these world-class installers will have no problem doing it. And part of that is not because we just want all the world-class doing guys doing it. We want to have Joe Average installer who's maybe he's six months on the job and doesn't know how to, much about DSP. If you can set up the crossovers and follow the Barney system, we can get your car tuned to 80%, 90% perfect, and then tell the customer to come back in a week's time, and the, the pro guy can fix it after that. So uh, it's a measurement tool that um, not only is used for rookies, uh, If you, the slide you just had up a second ago, if you look at the Alaska World Finals, uh, Christopher Pate from MTI Acoustics just won first place in his uh, um, expert and limited class. And Jim Rogers, who a lot of guys know in the competition field with his Dodge Ram pickup, took first place in his Pro-Am. Both vehicles were tuned using Barney. So there was also a third guy. I don't have all the information on that, but there was a third guy that was tuned with Barney, and he took first place as well. So it's not only a rookie tool. It's for the guys that are – it's for the pros, for the best of the best, and it makes your, makes your system sound incredible. Now, this, of course, is the audiophile episode. So let's stay in that lane of top of the line. Because why not? It's fun. And when it comes to top of the line with Moscone, well, you've seen a little uh, version of one of the offerings in the Pro Series lineup of amplifiers. But let's dive a little bit deeper because the Pro Series is not only incredibly sounding, but it's got an iconic slick look to it that is unmistakably Moscone. So Grant, please walk us through the different offerings within the Pro Series line of amplifiers. So Ben, we actually have two, you know, audiophile grade uh, series of amplifiers above Pro, but we sell 90% of our volume in this category. So we have the zero class and the A class amplifiers for those guys that size isn't an issue. You're okay with a, you know, dinner room, dining room table size amplifier in the trunk of your car. But this product is by far the number one selling products in the entire Moscone line. So uh, starting at the top with the brand new baby in the lineup is the Pro 830 DSP. It is a class A, class AB, class D amplifier, all in one chassis, eight channels of amplification, 12 channels of DSP. So you've got the eight channels of DSP for the amplifier, and you've got extra four channels for adding onto the system. So power-wise, it's a staggered power amplifier. You're 90 watts by four RMS at four ohms, an additional four channels of 170 watts by four at four ohms, 
Uh, if you've got two ohm speakers that some manufacturers are making, that amplifier power goes up significantly. You go up to 115 watts by four on the first four channels and then 220 watts by four on the rear four channels. Uh, if you need to bridge it for more power, you can bridge it to four channel mode. You get two channels at 220 watts and two channels at 440 watts. So you get mega, mega power. You're talking almost 1200 watts RMS on an amplifier you can build your entire system with. So Pro 830 is really a go-to for many people that want uh, a one amp system and significant power and great sounding product. Uh, the other one that took a bit of, uh, um, let's just say, Took, took the industry by storm uh, late last year. I think it was August last year when this was released. It was the Pro 430. So this is an advanced Class A, AB amplifier. So biased as far as possible towards Class A. So whenever it's running, we've got lots of current going to the amplifier. We're not using a lot of demand on the system itself. It runs as close to Class A as possible. As the current limitations come up uh, or you're pressing the amplifier harder, it rolls back that circuitry to Class AB technology. So... Incredible amounts of power. We're talking 170 watts by four RMS at four ohms, uh, 400 watts by two uh, if you want to bridge it. So huge amounts of power. Guys will use this for, you know, a high end set of Utopia speakers running tweeters and mid bass speakers or mid range speakers. We actually have a build in the works right now using these amplifiers. Uh, but amazing sounding amplifiers. If you go back to that other slide, the internal of the amplifier, there's very little as far as you know, wires jumping across the circuit board. It's a super clean amplifier, world-class sounding. Uh, I think some of the things that you said about this amplifier is if you want this amp to run, amplifier to run cool and stay cool all day, this is not the amplifier for you because it's class A, class AB. It's going to get hot. If you want this amp to be the purest uh, distortion-free amplifier on the planet, this is not the amplifier for you. Some people look at that as a negative. Some of the best sounding turntables on the planet, which people rave about as audiophiles, have lots of distortion on the on the turntables itself so if you want the hairs on your arm to stand up though you put this on a set of speakers and it it puts you in the middle of the live live experience the other one in the same size as the 830 and the 430 is probably our number one selling SKU in Moscone is the pro 530 simply because it's it really is a one app solution other than the DSP solution on it so 95 watts by two class a uh, class A uh, uh, biased, uh, 185 watts by two class AB. And then on the subwoofer channel, there's either um, 1,030 watts RMS at two ohms. So tons and tons of power on this amplifier, gorgeous cosmetics, audiophile grade sound quality, and most of the components, if not as many as possible, are all made in Italy. Rounding out the Pro Series are the three baby brothers to those is the Pro 410, the Pro 210, and the Pro 110. So you've got six amplifiers now in this Moscone Pro series. Uh, the 410 is rated at 140 watts by four. Um, the Pro 210 is rated at 240 watts by two. And most people are using the Pro 110 at the two ohm load, which is a thousand, no, sorry, 975 watts RMS at two ohms. At four ohms, it's 670. So a huge offering of products. Uh, my favorite offering, obviously, is the Pro 830. Gets most of your system done. And then adding a Pro 210 or a Pro 110 as your subwoofer amplifiers. Gorgeous cosmetics. Um, you've seen it in some of the builds. With the, you're going to see some of it in some of the builds we show you. Uh, the best installers on the planet choose Moscone to put in their installs. So if you stuck with us this far, then obviously the Moscone lineup has something in it that interests you. Well, we're going to make it a whole lot more interesting because they've also revamped their one series, basically a little brother to the Pro Series, which offers different options in both multi-channel DSP integrated amplifiers, as well as a monoblock option in a slightly smaller footprint and more affordable price category. Grant, this one has got made a lot of buzz. It's award winning. So please tell us about the new and revised one series. Ben, the one series was a you know a great seller for us, but the new cosmetics on this product and then what they've done with integrating DSP, I think this is going to be a hot hot line of products for us. So um, the current lineup um, is set up of three amplifiers with integrated DSP. There is an eight channel, a six channel, and a four channel, all with DSP built in. All of it, by the way, is Class AB amplification, no Class D in the DSP series of amplifiers. So 
your sound quality, your warmth of your sound, the quality that you're getting is by far a step above a lot of the competition. So let's go through the DSP ones first. Uh, so the flagship piece, which actually just won the ISA award for best in-car amplifier with integrated DSP is the 1810 DSP. So we've got eight channels of 90 watts by, sorry, 90 watts by eight, um, class AB power, all rated at four ohms uh, with a 10 channel DSP built in. If you want to run it at two ohms, let's say you're using some Focal's two ohms uh, Kevlar speakers that are two ohm, you're getting 120 watts by eight at two ohms. Um, bridging it, if you want to bridge it for more power, you've got four by 240 watts RMS. So tons of power. Um, but what most people are using this for is their, you know, the three-way setup, maybe a set of rear speakers, and then using the pre-out on channels nine and 10 to go into the big mono block. Uh, we also have a six channel amplifier as a, as a one six ten DSP at six by a hundred Watts uh, or three by 240 Watts. If you want to bridge it at four ohms, that also has a 10 channel DSP processor built into it. We have a four channel amplifier where we increase the power to four by 130 Watts at four ohms at two ohms is 175 Watts a channel. And then bridging that is 350 Watts um, at two channels bridged again at four ohms. And that one is an eight channel integrated DSP. So whether you're picking any one of those three amplifiers, uh, you want some big daddy power on the subwoofer side, we have the one 1000 D thousand watt class D amplifier for your subwoofers. So same cosmetics, same footprint on every single amplifier. So these, if you're building an app rack, if you look in front of me, if you're building an app rack here, both amplifiers, we've got the 810 DSP here and the, and the 11000. Both amplifiers are exactly the same size. Uh, you know, you can basically just keep making this into a monster amplifier by daisy chaining it all the way up. So gorgeous cosmetics, incredible power, class AB design. So your sound quality is definitely there being an audiophiles episode. That's what we want to focus on. And the DSP side, of it, we've got you covered no matter what your configuration needs to be. You know, Grant, you mentioned uh, several times throughout this episode that the best cars, the best competitors, the best fabricators uh, choose Moscone. So I thought it'd be a great idea to bring up some examples to back up this statement. And most recently, SEMA just happened, and there are so many different cars. The IASCA World Championships happened. And there's no doubt that Moscone certainly is uh, a premium choice for many of these uh, enthusiasts. So what do you think, Grant? We uh, take a look at some of these images to kind of sh to support that statement. Yeah, Ben, I put, uh, put a few slides together of some of the best fabricators, best installers in the world um, that use our products in their installs. So let's go through some of those and just have a look at some of the incredible builds. And, you know, these guys are world-class. You got Matt Schaefer up there on the left-hand side. Um, that guy is world-class and he's using Moscone products. And I think that was a Porsche uh, car Corvette. I can't remember what it was. I think the one on the left is a Corvette grant because I recognize <laughs> yeah. the build and you know, you're right. I mean, Matt Schaefer for Mosaic, this guy, I mean, he loves Moscone. He incorporates these products into so many of his builds. You'll see in this picture here, two different series, as you mentioned. One that, you know, the one on the right is the Pro Series. What is the one on the left, Grant? Uh, the one on the left, I think, is Nalika's 911 that they did at uh, Mobile Solutions at Brian Schmidt School. They did a trading class there one year, and I think they had guys like Tom Miller right. and a bunch of those world class JT Torres. I don't know if Schaefer was there or not, but they had, you know, the best of the best guys. Tyler Renault, I think, was there as well. Mm -hmm. Um, and doing those are install. zero series speakers, if I'm not mistaken. On the uh, those are those are um, uh, the one on the uh, the right with the, is a Porsche, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, Nalika's car. That's all Pro Series amplifiers. On the left, I think that's either AS or Zero Series amplifiers. I'm not sure what they used in it. I just know that it's got a Moscone name on the front of it, so that's all I care about. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Let's take a look at the next one. Well, uh, just that is another McLaren. pictures of these. You know, there's a yeah. McLaren. I'm, I'm sure that customer's got any pick of any amplifier he wants to use in the world and sold as a shop that's doing the install on it. Uh, you know, so it's a McLaren uh, vehicle with a Pro Series amplifier in there. There's another car, you know, with the, the you know flush mount installed on the floor with um, using all Pro Series amplifiers. All these pictures that we have here, basically, you know, 90% of them are all using the Pro Series amplifiers. And that speaks volumes to me, you know, and I think as dealers look at it, that these guys that are world class, best in the best in the world type of thing using these, they have, you know, experience, they have reliability, they have knowledge that this product is going to sound great, it's going to perform great, and it's going to last. 
you know, just some other couple of examples. There's a, a car with AS series amplifiers on the right. It's more pro series on the left. And then I think I have a few more of uh, some more current builds in Teslas. There's another Matt Schaefer build in a Tesla um, with the pro series amplifiers. I mean, that guy just does incredible work. And I think there's another one there. Again, a couple of more builds of his um, all using I, pro I series. Wanna, I want to point out something here, Grant. The way those Moscones look when they are linked together like that is just, it's it's a work of art, really, to be honest with you. Yeah, it makes it look like one big amplifier. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, it becomes part of the design. Not only is it you know, an integral part of the audio system, I mean, it's the backbone of making your speakers sound good. Um, the cosmetics on it, when you're doing this type of quality, it is it literally is a work of art. I mean, you look at those installs. I mean, that's, that's just, to me, it's just, it is a piece of work. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, Grant. So, I mean, we've walked through the entire breadth of the product the DSP, the amplifier series, both in the Pro Series as well as the one. And we've shown the top level install and some of the top builders in the world in incorporating Moscone product into their builds. What final message do you have for dealers looking for that audiophile grade line that they can offer to their customers? I think the industry's got a lot of amazing products. And we just want to be part of the conversation when it comes to being a choice for dealers on giving you guys that audiophile product. So whether it's the standalone DSP product, whether it's our integrated DSP product or this are standalone amplifiers. I think Moscone has earned the right as a manufacturer to, that takes such passion in building great quality products to be part of the conversation on your build. So whether it's Focal speakers, Morel speakers, whatever you're using for speaker product, we want to be part of the conversation when it comes to amplifiers. I want to thank my guest today, Grant McFadder from Trends for joining us and talking to us about Moscone product. If you want more information, obviously head on over to the website displayed here at gladen.com. And if you happen to be in Canada, definitely reach out to Grant and his team at Trends Electronics, who are eager to connect with you and make you the next Moscone dealer here in Canada. Now, in my closing comments, this is the audiophile episode. So yeah, I'm going to be a little bit picky and choosy about what I'm about to say here. Because for me, there's a lot of things that are important when it comes to audiophile grade product. Number one, of course, is the sound quality. The whole goal here is to achieve that oral perfection in a subjective way to make sure that you're reproducing that music in the environment that gives you those goosebumps. So no doubt Moscone delivers on sound quality. But what's more are, is the following. Number one, the sheer commitment to DSP by offering the amount of product selections and SKUs that they have within DSP is something to consider. There is simply no other brand that has the collection and offering in DSP that Moscone does. That's number one. Number two, aesthetics. I have one to admit, there is no way that a company who puts the time, the design, and the creativity into engineering and creating the products that they have that don't care, impossible. This is a brand that's completely built from passion as is evident in their creative designs and the aesthetics of their products. And finally, this is one that hits home, as with certain speakers that are made in countries like in Europe or in Japan. Well, there is something to be said about Moscone as all, I repeat, all of their products are made in Italy. And that should mean something to an audiophile. That's it for this CMA Connected brought to you by Sirius XM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect. There's never been a better time to have Sirius XM with over 150 channels in your vehicle. Your Platinum Plan offer includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels and enjoy favorite shows with Sirius XM video on demand. What you love is on now.